to my channel if you're new welcome so in today's video i'm going to try the water coloring method wherever it's called and i want to say my last hair video or i think one before that a lot of you recommended me doing that or they want to see me do it and i was like okay fine i'll do it but i didn't think to do it for this hair color that i'm doing until i talked to my friend Leah last night on the phone and she goes you should do the water coloring method like it works so so good and i was like hmm well if you said it then i guess i will do it so i bought this bucket right originally i was gonna dye hair like you typically dye hair so all my dyes are poured out into these uh i put foil on so they don't spill it's already poured out into my little bowls but i'm not gonna let them go to waste i'm just gonna pour them into the, the container but yeah like i did not plan on doing this this way hopefully this method works um see so yeah, i hella die um so yeah i i didn't plan on doing this way but my friend Lee said to do it and she posted her video and i'm like wow like it actually did work like you weren't joking because i've watched a few people do those videos and some people have really great results while other people it, the dye look patchy so i was like okay like if i'm gonna do a really bold color i don't really want to risk doing it with that method because it may not come out right but um i mean might as well so i have my blonde hair right here it's from yolisa hair i love yolisa hair and they gave me four bundles and a frontal this bundle is already unraveled because this is the bundle i was going to start working on dyeing Maybe, maybe I was meant to do this video because when I was gonna dye this hair, I ended up leaving the house to go somewhere. And I never, when I got back home, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. So maybe I was meant to do it this way. So I'm gonna fill this bucket up with water. Uh, and the water is like hot or, yeah, like sink hot. Aaliyah said it's like sink hot, but not boiling hot. Um, I've seen people do different stuff, but I'm gonna just trust my friend. So, um, and I'll link her video down below because it's actually fucking bomb. Like, she did a bright, like, fiery orange, and it looks so good. So, yeah. I think that'll be, like, a good example because I'm not going to do this this bright. I want it to be, like, a lime color, but I want it to be, like, more on the pastel side, so I don't want it that bright. So, we'll see how this goes. But if you want to see, like, this method in action for a super bright color, check down below because I'm going to link her video because, yeah, hers came out really good. So my sink takes forever to get fucking hot. Oh my god, I've been cursing of a storm. I'm so sorry guys. My sink takes forever to get freaking hot. Um, well while I'm waiting to warm up, if you guys didn't know, I curse a lot in real life. I told it off in my videos, but I just feel like when you curse in videos, it's just something about cursing in beauty videos is kind of like, oh, like you don't expect to hear it. Um, but I want you guys to know who I am. I can be cursed like crazy. Oh man, I've been a storm. Okay. The water's hot, so I'm gonna fill up this bucket. And don't worry, when I do it, I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see it, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm gonna fill up this bucket. I don't know how much I'm supposed to fill it up. Ooh, okay. We're just gonna do it. I'm kind of excited. Sorry. I'm weird. <sighs> okay, the water's going. To oh my god. I typically don't do videos standing because if you haven't noticed, I'm very jitterish and I'm very like, I can't really explain it. So I don't know how to stay still. So I'm gonna do one bundle at a time. I'm gonna fill it up not halfway, maybe like a quarter of the way. I don't waste my water, I got bills. Okay, this is cool. All right. So I have a spoon. Let me change the camera angle. It's like, do you guys want to see me or this? Probably this. How about I do it first while explaining it, and then I'll show you guys, because I have no idea if it's going to work. This video may be a flop. So I'm going to put my gloves on, because obviously I don't want my hands to get green. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is... So this is how much water is in the bucket, like a like quarter amount, not too much. And I'm going to take from my little dye, I'm going to get my spoon, Ooh, and put dye in it. Now, I don't know if you have to use a certain type of dye, um, I really don't know. And this dye, I actually add conditioner to it because I was trying to make it more pastel -y. So I have no idea, this might be a flop. I'm scared. Okay. Where's my whisk this? Cause I don't feel like actually mixing. And I used two of the greens. I used 
this green right here and this green right here. This is from um, Kiss and the other one's from Manic Panic. I'll put the names down below. Can I cut the container? So it's getting sunny because of conditioner, but I didn't put too much conditioner to actually like affect the color. I'm scared. Okay, this could be a flop, but I feel like I should add more green. So let's add a little bit more. This is a damn mess already. Ooh. It all up. I am like actually really freaking excited. I feel like I'm like doing like a, a science project or something. Oh my god! Okay. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys the next round, but in case you wanna see. So it's like, ooh, do I wanna add a little bit more green? Because I want to flop the first round. So adding a little more green, like I feel like it needs to be a little. I'm gonna take this slightly darker green that I mixed up, and this color from Kiss too. I'm gonna add a little bit of that, just to make sure it's pigmented. <laughs> so I don't want it to be a flop, you know? Like, even though the color looks dark, when I pick it up, it's not that dark. So it's a flop money mat. And then you just dip the hair in there. And just, I guess, dip and dip until the color picks up. Sorry, my man scared you. I scared my baby bud. Your mom's dying hair. Ooh, this is the fucking color I wanted. What's, ooh, my God, we're not a mess. This is the color. Sorry, guys, I'm just such a freaking spaz. This is literally the color I wanted. Because, you know, you guys know, you know, the fucking, I mean, the freaking lime green hair is trending right now. Um, so I was like, ooh, let me get on that, you know? Get these views. No, I'm joking. But I will try to tell her. What the? What the? Dude! What the fuck? Sorry, I had to curse. What the? Dude, this is fucking genius! Oh my god! I don't know why I'm so shook. I did not know this was gonna work this good. I'm just like putting more color in. This is like what the? All the times now, obviously, this won't work with no one B bundles. You gotta bleach the hair, have it blonde. I prefer blonde bundles easier, but all the times I sat and brushed dye on blonde bundles and like spent hours when all I had to do was put it in some water and dip it, I'm looking hot. This is so pretty. Oh, I'm so annoying. Okay, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just dipping it in. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. I can't even like control my reaction. This is like my first time doing this. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad because I don't want to be annoying, but I'm like really, really like, I can't believe this worked like this. Like, I was not expecting this. What the hell? I'm just gonna keep dipping it just to make sure every strand is like coated. But like, what the? Oh my god. I almost want to like do different colors, but then my wig will look a hot ass mess now. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll get some more blonde hair and do this. I, I'm gonna be do now that I do this, like, I'm never dying hair the same again. For what? Let me know down below if you guys want me to try this with uh, bundles that weren't already blonde, like bundles with the bleach. I want to see if it works the same. Yeah, this is freaking incredible. This is literally incredible, you guys. I can't even, I can't make this up. Like, I like, I can't even, I just can't. This just put me in such a great mood, you guys. I've been in such a bad mood for the last few days. This just made me like really happy. I don't know why. Wow, okay. I feel like all the colors deposited. This is the perfect color. You guys, look at that. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna change the angle so you guys can see it from my perspective. I don't know if I'm supposed to change the water or not. Um, I think I have to add more dye because I'm pretty sure when you put the hair, the dye, whatever science cup is going on, it's it gets stuck to the hair. So I'm pretty sure if I want it to be vibrant, I have to add some more dye. 
But let's bring you guys in a little closer. Let me change my gloves so I'm not gonna touch my camera with these. Um, hi. Okay. So we are back at it with a better angle. Oh my God, I'm still shook. So I'm gonna put some new gloves on, obviously. I'm like still so shook, you guys. I'm like so, I'm like so excited to make this wig now. I'm just so excited. Like I'm really happy about this. So, goddamn, take it forever to put my gloves on. So I'm gonna add some more dye. I'm just gonna add like a spoonful of each. The fact that like, you could probably dye all your hair. I want to say last night on the phone, Aaliyah told me that she dyed four bundles in a, a closure with one bottle of dye. You're about to save so much money. Sorry, I'm anyway. But no, like literally, that's like, you know how much dye costs? This ain't cheap. Dye, dye can be up to like $14 a bottle. If you could dye all your hair with one freaking bottle, like, come on, man. This is genius. All right, let's do the next one. Oh shoot, okay, so I have to take this off though because that will get in the way, obviously. Now let's get to dipping him. Okay, let's dip it. I can't wait to do my frontal. Aaliyah says that your frontal doesn't even get tinted or dyed. She goes, she's at the knots will get a little tinted, um, but the actual like lace itself doesn't get dyed. Look at that. It's like real line. So I'm gonna keep mixing. And I peeped that the more you dip it, the more pigmented it gets. So let's just keep dipping until it absorbs all that color. I'm gonna add a little more green. I want it to be slightly darker. cool. Gotta make sure all the blonde gets tinted. Yeah, whoever came with this method is a damn genius. And they're pros probably gonna be hated by all the hair dye companies because now we're gonna be saving money. I see some parts are still a little blonde, so I'm just making sure the dye really picks up on those areas. This one looks pretty done. All right, guys. Wow, this is amazing. So now I'm gonna add some more dye, and we're gonna do this frontal and see what she's talking about. And I'm using all three just for fun, honestly. I'm gonna be fun here. This has got me want to dye hair all day, and I actually hate dyeing hair. And you can see I got a little shedding from the bundles. Um, just a little bit though, not too much. I know those blonde bundles always do that. All right guys, so let's dip this. Frontal. Yeah, I don't see the dye catching onto the lace. Wow, that's super cool. What the hell? Yeah, that looks really good. See how it starts off as yellow or like a yellowy line? If I wanted to like stop there, I could. Nah, I want more like a green. Let's keep going. But I almost like that it doesn't turn green automatically, so you have options of how dark you want it. I kind of like this color. And what I could do is make these last two bundles this color. Cause this is like green. I kind of want to keep it like this color. Let's see, let's check to see if it's dyed up top. Yeah, I kind of like this color a little bit. I'm gonna dip it one more time, but I don't want it to get darker than this because I kind of like this color. 
And so these two bundles that I already did, although they're darker, it's cool because they can go on the bottom. And the top two, I can make them light like this so it makes sense. You getting me? All right, guys, I'm going to the camera back up so you can hear me while I talk or see me while I talk. So the frontal is my ideal color. I kind of got carried away with these two bundles because I was having fun. You see they're slightly darker. That's totally fine because I still have two more bundles to work with. And with my wig, I typically use three of the bundles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this darker one at the bottom. And I'm going to make these two match this color. So that way it has dimension, but it's mainly all this color. Because this color I was going for, I was going for like the color of a tennis ball. And I love this. And as you can see, the lace did not get tinted at all. I'm a little key about to fuck it up. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm about to like really go ham. So... I'm gonna dye these last two bundles, then I have to make my wig. Oh my god. Ugh, I hate making wigs now. They just I don't like it's like I love making them. I just love when I'm almost done because it takes me like two hours because I just be watching crime shows, I get distracted. You guys don't wanna know all this, but I'm gonna make the wig, then we're gonna style it. Cause I'm kinda nervous, because I don't know if this is gonna look good on me, but we're gonna make it work. And we're gonna style it and um yeah, that's gonna be this video. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Alright, man. I'm filming. All right. Oh, you look good. Okay. All right, guys. So I lied. I'm not going to style the hair. It's how many hours ago was this? I don't even know, man. It's 10 o'clock and I'm tired. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning because I have to fly to Oakland for my mommy's birthday party. So I have to get up at like, ooh, if I have to, get, if I have to leave here by 6 30, then it's got to be up at 5 30. So you guys aren't getting a tutorial on me styling this hair. I'm sorry, but honestly, styling bright colored hair. The thing is, the frontal actually looks cool. It just, I put it on, and well, I will show you guys about I'll mess up my little scarf, but this actually is a uh, pillowcase. But um, it just, with hair colors like this, it's trickier because I didn't peep that I have to pluck the frontal, but I do. So my frontal wasn't plucked at all, and the color looks really great against my skin tone, but I need to pluck the frontal, I need to get some baby hairs going on. I tried to do the bald head method, and I'm like, okay, like, no, like, I need to actually pluck the frontal and stop being lazy. So basically, um, I don't have enough time. I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock. I have stuff to pack. I have a lot to do. But I like to show you guys how to do the color, and I showed you guys a new way to dye hair. If you haven't seen anyone else's video on the whole watercoloring thing, this color it looks bomb. Honestly, I like this whole like scarf thing going on, anyways. But I'm gonna at least try to do some type of style where I'm actually like wearing the hair out. But it won't be for a few days because I, you know, it's going on a little vacay for a few days. But I do want to like style this hair and do like a cool photo shoot because I did not do all this for nothing or to put a fucking pillowcase on my head. But um, yeah, uh, this is kind of conceptual. If like, if you agree. Oh God, my bad, my mind. I didn't know you were here, baby bud. I didn't know you were right there. It's him. It's the baby bud. Oh, kisses. Okay, when I watch my makeup off, I would kiss you all night long, my baby bud. Oh God. To kiss off my makeup all right um but yeah before i go about this hair because i didn't talk about it earlier this hair is bomb you guys i've used your lisa hair specifically their blonde hair at least four times just i think two or three of the, no two of the videos you guys didn't see because i'm so like picky when it comes to this kind of stuff that if i do some hair and it doesn't come out right i'm not going to post it and so i dyed their hair i used their blonde for um Red hair, and I did another color that I totally forgot. I forgot what color I did, but their blonde hair is bomb. It feels so healthy. It looks healthy. I don't even gotta say it. Look how shiny that looks, and there's no product on this whatsoever. And I feel like the ends, I feel like they're pretty nice. They're not gonna thin and stringy. I haven't cut this hair or anything, so the hair is cool to me. But like I always say on my hair videos, if you order from me before and you had different experience, leave your comments down below. Let's all help each other. Because I mean, if you see this video and you wanna buy this hair, Obviously, you can trust my opinion, but I want you guys to get other opinions before purchasing hair because it's an investment, and sometimes you may not always get a refund. Um, I don't know how each side works, but I just want to make sure you're going to spend your money on good quality hair. So like I said, if you have purchased hair before, comment down below. If you had a great experience, let the people know. If you had a bad experience, let people know. But whatever the case may be, if you are actually person's hair based on my opinion alone, all the links and everything will be down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Look at that!